right by the boat. Shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, and he spit it. Damn it. Oh, beautiful trout. Good eating size. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to prep all of our fish for cooking. So I got some fresh speckled trout and some fresh redfish just caught yesterday right here. So uh, in my other videos, I got how to fillet speckled trout. I got videos of how to fillet redfish. So if you're curious, take a look at them. Um, speckled trout, redfish, any kind of fish actually works great for making fish tacos. One of my favorites actually is sheep's head. Uh, just something about the meat. It's a little firmer, little little uh, little coarser texture. Really makes an excellent taco. So when I'm making fish tacos, I like to slice it lengthways, and that's the way I usually fry my fish. And then I'll take and dice it up into little cubes. I guess about three eighths to half inch square cubes. You know, as close as possible. So I'll prep all my fish the same way. Well, nothing like fresh fish. So like I said, to prep my fish, I like to dice it up in about little three-eighths to half-inch uh, cubes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan saute this, pan it, however you want to uh, call it, in a little oil in a skillet. And the only thing I put on it is season all. And the next thing I'm going to do is prep my uh, redfish. So when I clean them, I make sure they're bone, boneless fillets and I take out all the red meat I can. Make sure you got nice clean fillets. And we'll do the same thing with these. Nice small cubes. And there's my red fish all chopped. So once I get my redfish all diced up, I'll take uh, Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. You can use season all or any type of seasoning you like, and I'll give all the fish a pretty liberal coating of the season all or Tony Sachery's, whatever type of seafood seasoning you like. You know, as as uh, as much or as mild as you like it. Try to do this about an hour ahead and let the let the seasoning marinate into the meat a little. Don't worry about getting too much on. After all, we are making tacos. So a little spice is nice. Alright, the next step is to make you a salsa or pico de gallo, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can use any ingredients you like. This is one that I happen to like a lot. I'll use about four toes of garlic. Two Roma tomatoes, one small yellow onion, and a lemon for the lemon juice, salt, black pepper, and Creole seasoning once again. So I'll dice all this stuff fine, and I usually like to do this a day ahead. The more it marinates, the better it tastes. As you can see, everything's marinated overnight, released a lot of liquid. So this is uh, garlic, onions, tomatoes. And in this one, I have salt, black pepper, Creole seasoning, and I have the juice of one lemon and one lime. I like the juice of both. Um, if you have cilantro, jalapenos, crystal hot sauce, Tabasco sauce, whatever you like, just make a type of uh, salsa pico de gallo you'll like. 
this happens to be what uh, me and my son like best and that's how we eat our tacos and like I said this is better to marinate overnight or even longer in the refrigerator and it'll last to a, about a week or more all right so our fish is marinated about an hour took it out the refrigerator got about a eighth of an inch of cooking oil on the bottom of the pan on medium and what we're going to do is we're going to saute this fish real quick once we get up to temperature we'll go ahead and put our red fish in Give this all a quick saute, not too, uh, we don't want it to cook to where it flakes apart, we want it to hold its cube shape. And this will probably take about two to three minutes each side. Alright, so the redfish has been cooking about two minutes on one side. Try to flip it all over. Saute on the other side. And like I said, it doesn't take long. And we want it to hold this cube shape. So it should be about done. You can see it's starting to flake apart. Take one of the bigger cubes and break it open. And if it's opaque white all the way through it, it's done. So we'll try to So that's our red fish and our speckled trout will cook just as quick. I'll go ahead and turn my fire off now. Try to get some of the cooking oil out of the fish. Took our fish out the pan, we took and we washed it real quick and we'll start over for the frying the shells with some fresh oil. So we'll go about, oh, maybe a quarter inch of cooking oil in the bottom. And we'll go a little lower on the heat this time. Go down to about uh, one third burner and we'll let the cooking oil heat up. Next thing we're gonna do is fry the tortilla shells. So we got our, our oil hot enough for cooking them. And I like to use either white or yellow corn tortillas. Drop them in the oil. They're going to puff up between the two layers. You want to poke a few holes through them with the corner of your tongs. See how fast they start to fry. And then try to fold them in half in the grease. Start to get that taco shape. And both sides get a good fry. Then I get these little taco serving trays at the dollar store. Makes it handy to hold the shells while they cool and to serve. So that might be a little warm. Flip it over. So you don't want it to become a big expanded pillow. That's why you poke it. 
and then before it gets too hard and too crispy you want to fold it. You can use pre-made taco shells or a soft burrito or whatever you want. I just like these crunchy corn corn tortillas fried crunchy. So that's all it takes for the shells. All right, so let's assemble a few tortillas here. I can put a little bit of fish. See, that's why I like the big cubes. A little bit of fish in each shell. And I also like a corn tortilla for the crunch. Put a little bit of sour cream. little bit of salsa in each one. So this is our finished fish tacos. The best fish tacos you'll ever eat. Very good. Tastes even better when you wear your red fish t-shirt. So, till the next video, get out there, catch them and cook them.